There are a massive amount of refugees on Sudanese soil from uh, Eritrea, Central African Republic, South Sudan. Are you able to uh, are you able to raise funds? I mean, this is. I think this needs to be said as well. In Sudan now, a, a difficult situation comes to an already uh, challenging situation with all the circumstances. Sudan hosting one million refugees already, 2.4 million internally displaced. Uh, now, this comes as an additional burden. Nevertheless, what I've seen uh, when visiting the border areas over the last days, the local communities, they share the little they have. They're very welcoming to the refugees. The authorities here have also been great. They've allocated land for the construction of a new camp. The borders are open for those who need to seek asylum. So at least, you know, that's the most uh, immediate protection we can offer, is that, that right to seek asylum and that people can cross the border. So these are very positive points. But that being said, additional aid is needed. And we're, it's, the current requirements go far beyond the resources we have right now here on the ground. Well, we wish you uh, all the best with your work there, Jens Heisman. Thank you for joining us on the News Hour Emergency Coordinator with the UN's Refugee Agency for Sudan. Thank you very much. Still ahead for you on this News Hour from London. There's been fury in Guatemala City. Demonstrators stormed Congress, enraged by a controversial...